I'm ready for Halloween. Can you tell? Can you tell? It's Halloween month. Still raining. Just saw a truck back into a dumpster. Problem is, I think, when it comes to me and like dark eye looks, is that there's too much of this, too much of this, of my face that sort of just throws it off and my eyes are just too small. They're not a big enough part of my face to pull it off. There's just too much egg, too much egg. Here's my basket. Dog does not fit in basket. Dog too big for a basket. I'm outside again. Same place, different day. It's the only place I come, the doctor's office. Got my TB test checked. I do not have tuberculosis. So that's good. I started reading a book. I started reading The Burning Maze, which I'm gonna do a whole video on. Me reading it, but I don't have anything to update it yet with some only on chapter two. Seven percent into The Burning Maze. Remember when I wanted a 4.0 GPA? <laughs> mm. Look at that boy! What are you doing up here? Are you on top of my bookcase that is currently being used to just store some stuff that's supposed to not be there? In my Guild Wars games? Is that where you are, Mr. Cuddles? Oh, Mr. Cuddles, don't, don't use your claws on my beautiful bookcase. Yes, hello puppy. What do you want? I started watching The Good Place last night. I'm four episodes into the first season, and I love it. Of course I do. Everyone loves The Good Place. I don't know why. It just, it's just really entertaining. I just changed my NaNoWriMo username to my actual name. Now my NaNoWriMo username is my name. I didn't know I could actually do that. I just thought, well, if I can actually change it. Because I changed my Twitter and Instagram handles to match my Twitch handle. I don't know, it seemed like a good enough idea, which is Mercurial Megs. Which I know, Mercurial is sure a word. Am I Mercurial, you ask? Am I a Mercurial person? I don't know, I'll have to actually Google Mercurial because I'm not, I can't remember what it means. Or subject to sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind. Am I unpredictable? Not really. <laughs> I'm a pretty predictable bitch, too. I'm not particularly mercurial. Of or containing the element mercury. I'll take that. I can contain mercury. <laughs> it's more likely than me to be um, subject to sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind. The weather. Oh my god, it's cold out here. That's right, you heard me right. It's cold out here in Arizona. It's been really cloudy and rainy the last few days, too. Right, puppy? I'm just procrastinating from my homework that's due tonight. Oh my god. I gotta go watch the things about the monkeys, okay? I gotta go watch the thing about the monkeys and the apes and the stuff for the primate lab and, like, other stuff, I think. Still gotta write about, like, Michelangelo and shit. There's a rainbow, it's a bright one against those dark clouds. Rainbow! Are you a rainbow too, Marshmallow? You could be. Oh, I just can't get over that beautiful clouds and weather. Lemurs are adorable though. I love lemurs. They're like, they're like weird little monkey cats. I don't know. They're, they're monkey cats. They look like they remind me of cats, so I like them. My dad made these biscuits, and we put jelly in between them. This is this one shaped like a pumpkin. This is sort of a witch's hat going on there. They're very dense little eyes. Well, I'm not watching. I'm capping, screen capping one of my. <laughs> it's a vlog of a vlog of a vlog. It is 12:30 at night right now, and. The test is at 10.30. The testing center, the college, is about an hour and a half away. So my aunt will probably be here about, um, I don't know, 
9, 8, 30, 8, 39. All I know is that she's skipping jazzercise. Which I didn't want her to skip jazzercise, but if, if she'd rather get, just get it over with. Because she's just going to have to wait while I take the test. Middle of Patchy Junction. For those of you who don't know what a Patchy Junction is, it's a Patchy Junction. It's morning. It's, it's 9 a.m. This is the look I went for. For a midterm. Because this is just the kind of bitch I am. I don't know, this took me an hour. Just sat here slowly. But also I'm wearing my cat shirt, which is so I can do this if I feel like dying. Just pull my hood up and sit behind it. I just need a hundred shirts like this. This is all I need in life. But apparently today's National Coming Out Day, by the way. I am the three B's. Books, beauty, and bisexuality. Just just for the record. There it is. That's that's mm, that's all I got. Oh, I want five naps. I want all the naps. Okay, I'm gonna go. I looked real good yesterday. Now, I feel like potato. I learned about uh, Sasquatching in um, PUBG third person last night watching Twitch. It's an interesting way to play PUBG. What you do is you take off all your clothes before the match and then you just hide in bushes the whole time and try not to die. Instead of, you know, grabbing loot and shooting people. It's like the pacifist version and naked pacifist version actually well underwear you're in your underwear and you just hide in bushes like a sasquatch would it was it's kind of it's, it's kind of thrilling there very very sus sus suspenseful it's a little boring but also suspenseful because you know if someone starts shooting at you you can't shoot back and you have no armor so you have to run away and sometimes they chase you Books are my heart, Angela. Books are my heart. And announced the next words on the page. Thon, I haven't actually watched the video yet. I just went in and liked it this morning before passing out. I'm not even watching a YouTube video. Let me look for it. Oh, but I don't have sound on this computer right now because I'm plugged in over here to watch the. Yeah, I bought a school laptop. That way, while I do school, I can watch Twitch and do school. <laughs> the actual laptop. Well, I'm not doing school right now, but it's like school. The first monkeys. That's, that's how multitasking works. November 3rd, that's what I figured. Hooray! Hooray! I was hoping that we'd, there'd be another Words on the Page-a-thon. What I kind of want to do on November 3rd. Pro maybe we won't. Maybe save it for another day, but, or another year, is a live stream for the entire 24 hours. I know, it, pro maybe not this year, maybe next year, because I do want to do video game streaming now. That's my new obsession, is the idea of video game streaming, which I can't do because I don't have a headset, microphones, or a webcam. All I could do is just silently play games right now, and I, that's not really, eh. If you've noticed that I've hearted your comment and have not replied to it, it's because I'm dead inside and don't know how to form words into sentences and say them to people. Except v vocally, apparently, like this. I don't know how to type words, I guess. Yeah, I'm such a great writer. I don't know how to type words. Oh my god. So, my ear, my left earbud died in my earbuds. So, what did I do? I got headphones. Um, for like, 
they were eighteen ninety nine, and then there was like you got ninety five cents off or something like that, some amount of cents off, and then um, I had like fourteen dollar in gift balance on Amazon, so. And then I borrowed four dollars from my mom, so now I have these, and I don't know if I like them. Now I can't breathe. Is that weird? I'm having trouble breathing. This is a science book, and there are ponies leaping across islands in the ocean, just leaping across, meant to represent the early primates that came to South America. Oh yeah! Now, a lot of people think this is gonna be a disaster. I have literally been fighting people on Facebook, or at least commenting on Facebook posts, saying, hey, it's allowed to exist. That, that's all it is. It's allowed to exist, at the least. Is it gonna be good? I don't know. How am I supposed to know whether it's gonna be good or not? But we'll see and find out. It, I mean, even if the pilot's bad, I'll give it a few episodes. I'll, pro I'll probably be obsessed with it. I'll probably love it. Even if it sucks ass. Honestly. I've met myself. You see those walls back there? I drew the charmed symbol in crayon on those walls. And I was like 13, too. I wasn't even a small child. I was just a stupid teenager, I guess. Hey, Beanie. So, yeah, I'm pumped for that. I'm gonna watch it. What do you think, Mr. Cuddles, of your son here? Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, back back to the mo molecular evolution of primates, or in primates. In primates? Yeah, sure, whatever. My math class technically started today, but I haven't done anything for it yet, because nothing for it is due until the beginning of November, for some reason. I don't know why, but I should get started on that tomorrow. Or right now, whichever, I don't really know. So, last night was the first episode of the new Charmed. That was exciting. I watched it as it aired on Cox.com. Cat. Hello. And I enjoyed it. I literally don't have any complaints about it. To be fair, I think it helps that I haven't seen the original Charmed time and I was a kid when I saw it so I don't remember many of the early details and also I just I don't mind the imaginings of things that much I guess I mean I liked it so much the first time let's try it again like I don't know like it's like with fairy tales they redo them a hundred times and it's you often know how they're gonna go and it's but it's still enjoyable so no that's the way I feel about reboots sometimes sometimes I'm like this wasn't necessary. You didn't need to do this. Don't do this. We're gonna have some chili. I'm half tempted to film a how to make chili video. How we make our chili. Are you ever just tired? Nothing in particular. That's me.